I mean, I think I that's what, one of the things that I love about Sam so much is playing this character that's dealing with the little devil and the little angel constantly and and having to balance that because it's so tempting and it mm. feels so good to mm. to succumb to the darkness. How many stops do we have? I'm really excited to have a chance to talk with you about this movie because I think it's great. I really enjoy it. I think it's better than the last one and I think that that's a big deal. So congratulations for this movie. And I would like to start by saying that the true horror of Scream is how people see real life violence as entertainment, you know? And that's why the Carpenter sisters are such great characters because they have to deal with trauma as if they were fictional characters, you know? They are not real people for, for, for the other people. They are not human beings dealing with trauma. And I think that's very interesting. So, for example, Jenna, what do you think about that and how these sisters are dealing with trauma in this movie? First of all, that was such a thoughtful, well put yeah. question. So thank you. <laughs> uh, I think I think it's really interesting. And I think it's, um, like you said, definitely makes it scarier when um, you are just a puzzle piece in a bigger picture and you're not really being accepted for all that you are and all that you've become, especially if initially you believe that it has no real relation to you, like my character, Tara, just because she didn't even really know much about Ghostface to begin with um, at the start of the fifth one. I think that uh, it definitely adds a, a layer of, um, a, you know, lack of trust between people that you may even think that you get to trust. And I think that that's also a really wonderful thing about Scream is that there's nobody who you can really fully let your guard down with because it could be absolutely anyone. I think it's a, a really fun dynamic. Yeah, and you said something very interesting because another uh, thing that it's great about this franchise is that Ghostface is someone different every time because everyone has the potential to become a serial killer, killer for whatever reason. And now, Melissa, Sam is dealing with the weight of legacy and how the decision of our parents affect us and how our decisions would affect our descendants or our brothers and sisters or, you know, the people around us. So I, I would like to, to know what do you think about that idea for your character? I mean, I think I, that's what, one of the things that I love about Sam so much is playing this character that's dealing with the little devil and the little angel constantly and, and having to balance that because it's so tempting and it mm. feels so good to, mm. to succumb to the darkness, but she knows that that's not that's not a path that will ever lead her to happiness or to like have a good relationship with her sister and so it's this it's this like playing but i think one of the most fun things about this franchise is getting to be a ghost face like the, the actors that have got to be ghost face and do the killings and the, the big reveal i think must be so fun so the fact that i get a little bit of that because of that darkness in sam mm. is so fun for me to play um and and i love that in this movie you know tara has completely accepted her you know it's like it's not even a thing anymore and so when i think when sam realizes that no matter what her sister is gonna love her and understand her it's like oh then like all bets are off and she can like go out and go crazy and and i think that's such an unexpected and like beautiful thing that happens yeah, no, it's great. Uh, thank you very much for your time. And again, thank you very much for this movie and your characters are great. So thank you very much, Jane and Melissa. Thank you. Thank you. <gasps>